What's the secret you never told your ex? Out your mom and your stepdad Bruh. at the same time. What did she say? Yeah, while your sister was home. We don't be capping on here. No, that's a very true story. This really happened. And he does not know. No. I've actually been lying to him. He's been trying to act like he knows, and I've been like, no, why would I do that to you? You know I love you. I would never. It's not true. That's foul. I put your foul. mom and your stepdad. That's foul. In your house while you were at home. And I'll do it again. All right, see what type of day today is going to be. Let me go ahead and just light this shit run time. Because. Now, if your, if your mommy and your stepdaddy don't fuck your girl, they don't got no respect for you. And then she gonna say that she gonna do it again. So that means your dad, your stepdaddy done hit her and your mother with something that they can't handle. Oh, this bitch. I caught him trying to steal my grill off my balcony. <laughs> hey, I ain't calling no cops or nothing like that. But damn, how you gonna hop my how you gonna hop over the balcony? Yeah, Wait the until they end. Okay. He asking for help? <laughs> Yeah, bro, how you steal somebody grill then try to ask for help? One thing I hate, I hate a thief. When I was in year 11, I was like really horny. I asked to go to the toilet and I used the pen as a dildo. When I got back, I realized the pen was borrowed off the teacher. She asked for it back and I was biting it as she was concentrating. But first Yo. of all, she's into pencil dick. So Essex <laughs> boys must have pencil dick. <laughs> if you're from Essex and you're a guy, I feel sorry for you because girls are getting off to pens. Stands are low, oh below average type of shit. Yo, bro, I promise you that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, you know how small a pen is? <sighs> mm. Here are some of the most shocking deathbed confessions ever that'll send shivers down your spine. In 1987, a woman named Alice Mock was on her deathbed when she confessed something to her neighbor that was truly messed up. Back in 1975, Alice accused a black man named Wayman Camille Jr. of breaking into her apartment, robbing her, and raping her. After Alice told this to police, Camille was arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison, even though there was no evidence against him. Are but when serious? Alice was on her deathbed, she admitted that she had actually invited Camille into her apartment and actually robbed him when he was sleeping. And she only made up this lie because she feared she would get evicted if her landlord learned she had invited a black man into her apartment. And she also didn't want Camille to know that she had taken money from him. After Alice's confession, Camille was finally released after being wrongfully imprisoned for 12 years. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't trying to turn my page into no civil rights movement. Karens have been lying on black men for years. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Emmett Till. Rest in peace, Emmett Till, you know what I'm saying? But Karen's has been lying on black men for years. Imagine how many men are sitting in jail right now because somebody lied on them. And think about it. If she didn't confess, he would have did her full 15 years. 15 years is a long time. I was 14 years old and having a sleepover in my best friend's house. We went to bed, but about 1 a.m. I needed to use the toilet. I got up and went into the hallway. I could see my friend's mother's bedroom door was ajar, and I sneaked a look through the gap in the door. I could see his mum naked, standing in the middle of the room, looking directly at the gap I was staring through. She smiled and walked towards the open door. I turned and ran back into the bedroom, jumping into the bed. I never mentioned this to anyone, but wonder to this day what would have happened if I waited for her to come out. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this shit up my alley, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to light this. You feel me? I'm gonna need to get rid of some of the evil spirits for what I'm about to say, gang. That shit ain't even light, but I burned my finger. Anyway, listen. I ain't have a sleepover or nothing like that, but I was over at one of my people's crib, right? And I was going to the kitchen to get some water, okay? It was mad late at night. 
You feel me? It's probably like 11, 11.45. I don't know if his moms forgot that we was there, but um, she went, I guess she finished taking a shower. She had her door open. I'm walking past her room. And um, yeah, I seen them cheeks. I seen them cheeks, bro. And that was probably my first time seeing some cheeks. Like some grown woman cheeks in a long, in, 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 you know. Yeah, that was my first time seeing some grown woman cheeks in real life, son. And, um, yeah, I wanted to take that down, boy. I don't know how, how old was I. I was probably like 11. I wanted to take that down, boy. I went, mm. No disrespect to him. I ain't gonna call no names or nothing like that, but if he watching my video, he could put two and two together. I used to be at your crib a lot playing video games. A lot. It wasn't because you had them systems. It's because your mom's had a trunk. Yeah, your mom's had a system in the trunk. Lord have mercy. Ridiculous things that I've done as a dom femme to get some... This one's kind of bad, so I wouldn't be surprised if some people unfollow me. First though, what the hell is a dom femme? Can somebody please explain that to me? I practically tricked a man into letting me fuck his wife and then left. I was in a committed long-term relationship. We broke up. I was devastated. One of the first few things that I did, of course, was put myself back in the game. It was ridiculous, but I drove all the way to Georgia to, to hook up with this chick. This was a four-hour drive. She was, however, married. She had been with him for most of her life and was curious if she could get with a woman or not, and there's no strings attached. So. Your woman needs at least two to three penis intakes before she know that she want to settle down with you. You are were, you were her first, and you think you're going to be her only? It's not going down like that, all right? I went for it. Her husband approved of this happening. We're all sitting on the couch and we're talking about, you know, maybe we should get some food. And I proceed to tell her husband what I want him to order me. And so her and I go off. Um, we go, all go, <laughs> we go off and the agreement is, you know, he can watch. And I was like, Hey, you know what? Fine. But the first round's all mine. Long story short, we get done. The food arrives. We sit and eat the food. And then it's like, all right, well, now now it's my turn. My dead ass was just like, well, it's a long drive back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. First off, you ain't doing that for me. If you coming in there and you want to lick, lick my woman box, you're going to have to earn that. So, one, you would have been going to the store. You feel me? Then again, I'm cheap as hell. So, we was going to eat after the deed was done. You feel me? We was going to fuck hungry. That's like like some of my friends be saying, yeah, bro, you ain't never went to a chick crib and like ate the box. And then when it was your turn, she, she like canceled on you. Like she like, nah, nah, I'm good. And your face just wet as hell. Hell no. Hell no. Some of you, some of you people crazy, bro. Traveling to girls' houses just to eat they box. And I've seen messages from some of you niggas, man. Some of you niggas... Pitiful. Pitiful. Niggas, can I come over? I just want to taste you. That's all you want? Yeah, I just, I, I'll take that 30-minute drive so I can taste you. You wasting gas to come eat some pussy, my man. 